Hey guys, it's Cece's Rimmer and Johnny here. How are you guys today? Yes, it is. What is today? Wednesday? Wednesday. I don't even know the date. <laughs> I know the date for the 28th. Uh, the 28th, I think, is Friday. I don't even know the date is date, but whatever. It doesn't matter what the date is. All I know is when my birthday is, and that's next Saturday. <laughs> so that's all I need to know. Today I'm going to counseling today, and then. Um, right now, I'm actually heading over to Walmart because it's 9 o'clock, and Jada doesn't know how to fucking stay in bed. I mean, Jesus Christ. Last night, we I'm not even sleeping now, okay? Because last night, I say, hmm, it definitely was broken up sleep. Okay, let's see. Last night, I didn't fall asleep, I think, until after 12. Then I passed out on the couch and got up at 2.30. Stayed up until 5.30 and went back to sleep. <laughs> and got up at fucking 8. Oh my motherfucker. It was like 7.50. I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't sleep. But uh, the doctor said, you know, like I said, he said it was, she said that it was between the ADHD, the bipolar, the, tr the trans, you know, being trans, or being on testosterone, and um, age. So. I'm just a complicated situation, so whatever. Now that I know that, and I know that as long as I'm sleeping, then it's better than nothing. So, okay, now I'm not worried. I'm not going to worry so much anymore about it. <laughs> as long as I make sure I get something. Um, weed's not even getting me high. Weed's not helping me sleep. Like, fuck. Nothing's helping me. No medications work. Like, I could take 200 milligrams of, of uh of trazodone, and all it does is affect my restless leg syndrome, but I'm still wide awake. Or, I'll go to sleep, and then it wakes me back up, I wake me back up. That's what Ambien did to me, it was weird. Like, so, I know you might be like, oh, why don't you try Ambien? I already tried it, doesn't work. It actually woke, woke me up, and made it hard for me to go back to sleep. It was horrible. But, um, so today, I'm actually going over to Walmart, to see if I can find a pair of cheap sneakers. The ones that I'm more, kind of wearing. Uh, I need something that can match my outfit that doesn't have laces because I'm very fucking picky and I don't like laces anymore. And I like to be able to get in and out of my shoes when I need to versus having to tie my shoe and untie my shoe and retie my shoe and fuck, that's a lot of bending it down and picking up and extra work that you don't have to fucking do when you just don't have to have fucking laces. <laughs> what the fuck? I learned how to do that in my 30s. I'm like, fuck this. I don't want any shoes that have laces. Right now, actually, believe it or not, it's funny I see that, but, um, I do actually wear a pair. Like, right now, I'm not wearing them because I know I'm trying not in shoes, but, um, I've been uh, using my, uh, wearing my, my, they're like, I don't know, like, Sneaker boot thing I'm not going to describe them But they're cute I like them They're my favorite shoes right now But they do have laces Which is so weird Because I do have to Tie and untie them Every single time But on a day like today When I'm like Oh I want to just go And see if I can try on some shoes Um You know And see what happens So I don't have much money To spend on anything So I'm trying to do this quickly Because My Counseling is at 10 o'clock it's already 7.09. 9.07. Sorry, 9.07. I'm just like saying. <laughs> so, um, let's see. What I have done and what I need to be, or I should say, what should, what is, what I need to finish doing for the party. Okay, so, I've been asked this and I wanted to be able to just say it right now while we're talking about it. So, let's see. Um... I'm actually working on right now, so I started it yesterday, I'm, I'm making a new game. This is a game more for adults that might want to sit down and relax, you know, maybe the guys want to do it or, or whatever, but I'm making a black light effective or resistant or whatever you call it, it will glow in the fucking black light. <laughs> um, I'm making their big dice, so I'm making big dice. Uh, Yahtzee game. So it's the Jaden, Jaden's Yahtzee, Jaden's Blacklight Yahtzee or something like that. But instead of them being regular sized dice, they're like dice like this big. And then you'll have to just throw the dice. <laughs> so I have to find, I have to make sure that they get sealed so nothing like falls off it because you're going to be throwing them, you know. 
so I have to have a sealer. So I'm gonna try Mod Podge and see what happens. I I'll, I'll think I'll Mod Podge it and then I'll s and then I'll spray a sealer on it too. I don't know, just in case. But um, they're coming up pretty cool, and I'm using. Um, I'll just show you how I how I how they turned out after. And uh, so that's what I'm working on finishing up today. And I'm just gonna. I had the big Yahtzee game at the house, so I'm just gonna bring the papers of the Yahtzee with me, so I don't have to worry about it. That's a clock. Fucking sneaky motherfucker. Fucking wasn't even a marked cruiser or nothing. Just looked like a like a nice fucking sixty thousand uh, dollar car that was just stopped on the side of the road for a minute. Like, dude, that looked like a Navigator, like a Lincoln a Navigator or something that looked really expensive. And there's no reason why cops have to have the fucking top of the line car. I'm sorry, doesn't work that way. No, if we can't have the top of the line, why you? <laughs> but um. Anyway, so what else do we have to do for the party? So, let's see. I'm going to see this in order, okay? Let's see if I can see it in order, because I don't even know. Um, this week, I'm trying to pick up weed. The problem is, is money. So, I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm trying my very best. Worst case scenario, if I can't get that much, I want to at least get some dab. I don't care about, you know, grass right now. I can get that after my party. Um, what else? Let's see. This person's probably me. Get the fucking people. Get the fuck out of my way. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. I can't talk when I drive sometimes. Safety first, people. You ready? Here we go. out of my way, people. <laughs> anyway, so, let's see, what else is for the party? So, right now, I'm trying to see, I realize I should put on the, sh the, the outfit, supposedly. One of the outfits that GHC wants to wear <laughs> at the party, I guess. So, we wanted to try it on today and see how it looks and see how it fits, my body, and blah, 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 and then go find an outfit, uh, a pair of shoes that match. If I want it, if I find it, I don't even know. And then, if I don't find a pair of shoes, then I'm going to go through my entire house and look through what I want to wear. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll bring five pairs of shoes. I don't know. I don't care. Just bring whatever I want whenever I want to wear it. <laughs> if Jaden doesn't know what to wear, I'm just going to bring like ten things, ten things, ten outfits, and I'll just figure it out when I get to it. And if I need to like just change 30 times, then people will be like, where'd Jaden go? I don't know. He wants to go change again. I don't know. He just can't figure out what he wants to wear for his birthday. <laughs> I don't know. Mom would be all mad because she bought me t-shirts and shit. But I'd say if I can wear it. I don't wear t-shirts very often. Uh, it's hard for me to wear t-shirts being trans, I guess. I don't know. Very disorient. But, um... What else? Uh, okay, so... Don't really know exactly the days and stuff that everything's being done on, okay? But I'll tell you what needs to be done. I know that Sunday I'm going to pick up the dessert train. Then I'm going to individually bag them. And I haven't decided if I want to add one more thing to that little thing or not. It's just cookies and a brownie. But there's not enough for everybody. So that was kind of discouraging. I don't want to buy too much and then not enough people, you know, buy... I don't know if I would be better off leaving it as... The, 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 the dish, and then that way people can eat, you know, grab what they want, but I really don't want people touching, you know, their hands on it. Now, the other thing I could do, don't forget to get off here, Jaden. Actually, can I get off here? Yeah, you gotta get off here. Um, I'm just trying to figure that out. My mom's like, ah, oh, don't make a big deal, you know. And the other thing, too, is I don't know if everybody's showing. So, why am I going to go all out if I don't even know if everybody's showing? And then the thing is, if everybody shows, I'm just really, really bad. But, again, I can't really feel that bad because I just spent almost over $60 in fucking candy. So, if you're not happy with the fucking dessert, and you don't get any dessert, go eat the fucking candy. <laughs> I don't care anymore. 
you get lucky, you get what you get. Right? Isn't that how it works? I mean, if you don't get a fucking brownie and a cookie, eat some cake. There's cake, too. I was going to do chips, but I'm not. I'm just going to get um, uh, gluten-free uh, pretzels to make sure that the people that are gluten-free have something to snack on themselves. So I think what I'll do is I'll get a bag of those ch- chips. And actually, maybe I'll do that right now while I'm at Walmart. I'll just go grab the gluten-free bag of uh, pretzels. And um, and I can individually wrap some of those. And I'll just let them know. I'll write on it that it's gluten-free or tag it that it's gluten-free or something so people know. But I haven't decided. I mean, I'm almost better off buying individual bags of those for those people, but I don't know. I haven't quite decided. I mean, I did buy a pizza that's gluten-free, but I want them to be able to eat something else, too. It sucks that if people that have gluten allergies, they can't have cake, they can't have this, they can't have anything. Fuck that. I have a gluten, I mean, I have a food intolerance, but... Oh, and you want to know something else I just realized? I'll tell you, I had to tell my mother. <laughs> Do you know I hate religion so fucking bad? Do you know why? Because I've been suffering with a fucking stomach problem my whole entire fucking life. And all it was, was I had to do this with this. And it was against my religion, so no one ever allowed me to drink milk with meat. Okay? So because I was never grown up drinking milk with meat, my body could never digest food right. And I just realized, because my friend finally got me to drink milk to my liking because I can't it always tastes bad to me and he's like dude you gotta put ice in it so now I won't even have a bowl of cereal that I use now I'll eat more cereal I'm drinking more milk I want milk with my my meat I don't care god it's okay I'm I'm only gonna live once all right (laughs) I mean and the thing was is I told I asked a rabbi okay I asked a rabbi why we don't do that and he couldn't answer that question so if you don't know, why you do it? Oh, it just, God just says. What do you mean, God just says? God just doesn't say. <laughs> and why Why would you believe that and these people believe this? Like, if there was a religion, it should be one religion because everybody believes in everything. But no, no one ever believes in the same thing. I don't, I don't, but, you know, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't understand religion. I don't care about religion, honestly, people. You know, I have my own beliefs, and that's all I need to worry about. I need to make sure that I'm a good person to myself and everybody else around me, and that I have my good values, and that I treat people with respect respect and everybody else, and that I don't steal and do this, that, and the other thing that is wrong. Why? Because, you know, the difference between right and wrong, and right and wrong, and stuff like that. So, uh, I think religion is a lot about money today. It's that's very difficult for me because it's all about money today. I see, and um, I just can't. I don't like it. I don't like the way religion is forced upon us and uh, thrown, you know, thrown someone else's values my way and making me think the way you think. Fuck you. Give me the opportunity to have to be able to make my own decisions and my own choices and you know what if I had a child and let's just say my religion or my beliefs was this I would never tell my child well you have to believe in what I believe in I would tell him you need to find your own beliefs and this is just what I believe in and not throw the shit down their throat because that's what I feel I feel like people just throw religion down people's throats and it just pushes me away because I don't understand it to begin with. So I just think it's a, a, a money, a money scamming game to me. So I don't even pay no money to it. The um, anyways, let's go back to what I was talking about. So let's see, the cake is getting picked up on Friday of next week. Okay, haircut for Chris and I are happening on Wednesday the third. I'm picking up the desserts on this on sa- Sunday this Sunday because um. Because, uh, I don't have much time. Um, 
so I have time to individually wrap them, okay? But I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Hey, guys. So, uh, I had to tell you guys a secret. I don't know a secret. Why have I told you guys this yet? Jaden's not... Jaden loses his car all the time now. <laughs> he doesn't pay attention to the point where... Um, I need to get directions. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? I could just... Well, I have time, so it doesn't really matter how which way I go. Um, but... I f couldn't find my car. Like, I really, like, I was like, where the fuck did it go? <laughs> and I was like, but I, I couldn't even figure it out. I didn't know where I park. I, I pay attention that much that I don't even know where I fucking park now. So, yeah. Now that Jane found his car. So, I found a pair that I liked. But they had him in, um, they had him in, um, why they didn't have them in a regular and the why were way too big i was like dude something's wrong with this and then when i tried they had one regular but not the other shoe like where the fuck's the other shoe how do you have just one shoe i'm like oh look i found a seven and i go oh, motherfucker you gotta be kidding me so now i have to go to another store or have my mom order it for me so i don't know what to do i don't know whether or not just to go to one more store one more uh, I don't know whether to just say fuck Walmart, maybe try, you know, uh, maybe what I'll do after here is I'll try Savers, but I don't know. I was thinking I wanted a very specific, I, I did, I saw those, those are the ones I like. Maybe I'll just have my mom order them. I'll show her the ones I wanted. I'll just be like, mom, I went to Walmart, these are the shoes I wanted to get, but they didn't have my size. So, I mean, I could call the stores, but that's a pain in the ass too. Everything's a fucking pain in the ass today. Why? Because everybody's a pain in the ass. I had 25 minutes before... I, I'm going to be really pissed if this ends up being 10.30 and not 10 o'clock. Because I didn't have to leave the house that early. If that's the case. So, for some reason, he broke me 10. So, I'm hoping it's 10. I thought it was 10.30 on Friday. I'm fucking really this way. Actually, no trying to think, because, you know, I got too far, but, um, okay, so, um, what I thought of for the party, though, so, I'm uh, not for the party, the, the day before the party, I said to Chris last night, I go, what makes the most sense, I have to pick up the cake on Friday night at five, right, I should go and bring the cake over to my mom's house with the drinks right after. Or actually, the drinks will already be at the house. But pick up the cake, bring the cake over to her house, see if she can make room for the cake for the, you know, for the night in one of the areas for her, you know, refrigerator. Because it's a big cake. I'm having half the size, you know, the same size as I had before. And I was like, I mean, half the cake got to be thrown away last time. So I'm not buying any bigger of a cake than that. You know, and it depends on how many people are coming. It depends on how big the piece can be. I don't know. I don't care. We didn't really eat cake last time. But, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope it becomes a good turnout. Turnout. I mean, 90% of the people told me they were coming. It's more Chris's family that I don't know if, if they're coming or not. So, all my people I know are coming. That, that I know co are coming. Are coming. You know... I invited my friend Michelle, but she seems to never have time for me, so I don't make time for her now, you know, like, you don't want to go out of your way to come see me, like, you really want me to come out of my way to come see you, like, Chris has a, um, a brother that lives there, maybe I can make arrangements where, uh, I could drop him off, you know, sp spend an hour or so there with him, but see if I can see my friend while I'm down there, that way, for an hour. <laughs> You know, just spend an hour with her while I'm down there. Because it's not that far away from each other. But that's the only time I would do that is, like, if I was already in the area. Because I don't know where she lives. I'd have to ask her. I think it is where I am. I think it's the same town as where his brother lives. That's stupid to drive there and not go see her. But anyways, it's beside the point. Anyways, I'm going to go um, figure out where I got to... How do I get there? All right? I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So, there's something that you got to know about me. So, the first thing is... If you're going to deal with me first thing in the morning, I suggest you have your coffee first. <laughs> so I just talked to my mother. I'm going to go see her. Hopefully she'll give me the money. And then I was just talking to her about 
the the shoes, and I'm gonna see if she can try and buy them for me online. So I don't have to spend the money. Cause I have no money. I need money for gas. I need money for weed. I need money for stuff I need, not just the fucking party for everybody else. <laughs> That I only need for a night. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? He's like, I can't see spending all my money and not having anything for, I mean, you know, I have me, uh, you know, I depend on myself for money. You know, I can't just be with broke. I mean, I know my money is coming on the third, but still, I mean, a lot of that money is not going to even be there. <laughs> you know, it's like the second it's there, half of it's gone anyways, because it goes to the, to the business. You know, I, it goes to pay my bills. It pays my phone, it pays my st uh, my start, you know, it pays everything. So, you only have X amount of money to work with, and right now I don't have work. So, um, Chris and I, we're going to buckle down and start looking for work right after my, my, my party is over. You know, um, I'm, I want us to start working. Like, it's either he's going to find any work or I'm going to find us work. One of the two, it's going to happen. So, either we can do framing build houses or we can just sit there and find jobs and work when I can and hopefully my sister can have finally sit down and help me with advertising so we can get you know more work and honestly if they if we just said handyman you know slash small small projects I mean I do everything I mean I would be a jack of all trades but at the same token I want to focus on on handyman work you know I think that's where the money will be you know I mean yes I could clean yes I could do this but I would rather honestly do handyman work I like it I enjoy it I enjoy it more than cleaning believe it or not it's so funny it's something different you know but um it's really it. I'm going to actually now go over to my mom's house after. Hopefully she'll give me some money. You know, just... I'm at this point... Just write me a check so I can cash it at the bank at this point. Like, seriously, I need the money. Like, now. Like, she doesn't realize it takes days for me to make plans with three... I mean, we're talking three people. And, no, it's one, two... Yeah, three other people I have to go through in order to get this. So I need the money now so I could do this. And it takes a couple of days for us to, you know make the plan to go down there but I need to do it before this weekend I like to smoke my dab but even though I'm rushing to do it this week because I don't want to do it next week like one of the reasons why I don't want to do it next week is because and I I don't have any wood <laughs> we'll just knock on my fucking head <laughs> but I wouldn't want to go down next week when I have arrangements and plans and everything we got to do. I mean, I don't want to be in an accident. I don't want to die. I don't want something to happen bad. And next week is a bad week for me. So I don't want to be on the road a lot and doing a lot of stuff on the road. Um, it made it, it's going to make a 24 years since my best friend committed suicide and I buried him on my 18th birthday. So, it's just a, I know it's only 24 years, but that's still, that's a long time that, you know, this man did not get to, this, this, this young man did not get to live his life and be able to blossom and become, uh, you know, him and his twin brother just become, uh, you know, and just, life is just too short, guys, you know, and, so that's bothering me, and you know, I had a a, a a family member that died on April 30th. So, you know, and so I know that's tough for my family. That's coming up. That's an anniversary for them, and I have an anniversary that they probably don't even remember that I have. And then you know, so. I kind of like to get fucked up on my birthday because I don't really like to deal with my birthday because it's a very depressing day for me and I just try to make it fun and happy because, I mean, I've had so many birthdays that were bad and now it's just time to make good birthdays. That's all, you know? The love, the funny thing that I love about birthdays and Christmas and, you know, the holidays and stuff is because every year is a do-over. 
So if you fucked up last year, you just redo it in that following year. No big deal. And if you, you know, had a really big birthday this year, well, then outdo yourself next year or the next time you want to outdo yourself. Like, I don't know. I've learned a lot about different things. I've I've done some research about some stuff. So I would be perfect as a party planner, like to be a party coordinator and stuff like that. I can find the venue. I can be the one going and finding the venues for you. I can be the one going and, you know, doing the, the, the detail work for you that you can't sit and have time to do. Um, I can throw out ideas to you because I'm an idealist. I have all different kinds of ideas. Ten minutes. You know, so I would love to be able to do party stuff like that. I never thought I could. Maybe not before I transitioned, but now that Jaden thinks differently, so like my trend, my my learning disability is different. So, I I'm at, I always say, to me, how the hell do I understand what those clients were telling me? And now everything's all different. It's like I go through these phases, like in months. The phases don't like it's not just a phase. It's these these tran the trans transitioning phases or something. Because I'm still transitioning. People don't realize that. Yeah, I've been on testosterone for five and a half years, but I actually haven't been. Because I wasn't taking my testosterone right for two years because I was using drugs, okay, people? So I would take it, and then I wouldn't take it, and then I'd take it, and I wouldn't take it. And then I started taking it religiously, and then all of a sudden, a lot of changes started happening really quickly. And all at once. And when I first started transitioning, or, yeah, there was a guy... There's a trans. There's a guy who's really known in the transgender world, and he said that you don't want to transition overnight because it would be overwhelming for you, you know, body and in for your mind. And he's right. You know, if you just transition too quickly, it could become very overwhelming. But um, it's so funny. It's like, it's like, it's like I finally. It's like I finally woke up. I'm finally alive. I finally feel alive. And I finally... It's like everything I see, touch, hear, smell. It's like all texture is new again. All the sounds are new again. Everything is new to me. And it's just like everything is... It's like I'm seeing things for the first time and hearing things for the first time again and and just hearing it in a whole new way but it's it sounds like heaven people. It sounds like heaven. <laughs> it feels like heaven. And I never had my body ex like so basically, you know when we have our feelings, you know, we feel sad and happy and this that and the other thing. Well, Usually we feel that, right? You know, we we feel it in our, you know, but our bodies don't feel it. My body feels it. So when I when I when I'm listening to music or something, and a something touches something, whether it's a past memory or whatever it's touching, I could get emotional and. Sometimes people get like freaked out about that because I might just it's almost like you're you're touching an emotion for a very quick second. It's like you you touched it and you're gone. You touched it and it's gone. So it's like <gasps> you know, and it's like and it's so intense when you feel it right then and there and then it's over. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyway, it's not as cool. It actually hurts. It actually is painful, <laughs> but it's it it's you got your good ones and you got your bad pain. So you have your good feelings and your bad feelings. You know, so they kind of... I don't know, JC's crazy. She's got to leave me alone. She has to leave me alone. Women, okay? You can't live with them and you can't live with them. Okay, you can't. You just can't. Come on, come on, ladies. You know that sometimes... You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes even you can't stand yourself. When you can't stand yourself... And you want to hide yourself in a closet because you can't, and you want to scream because you can't fucking stand yourself anymore. Like even when you're talking and you're like, "Oh my god, I shut up." <laughs> like I'll be talking to somebody, but I could go and on and on and on, and then finally I have to tell myself to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I say it in my head. 
Sometimes, a lot of times, I'm yelling at myself. Now I'm out loud. Like, you'll hear myself say, No, Jaden. No, Jaden. No. <laughs> you can't have that. <laughs> and the worst is when you see me fighting with myself out loud. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I gotta tell you, though. Not physically. When I'm physically fighting with myself, you better just stay out of the way and or hold me down. <laughs> One of the two. Just hold me down so I don't hurt myself and I'll be fine <laughs> in a minute or two. Oh, my God. I could not believe how much anger or what that felt like. Oh, my God. It was a rage I never felt and there was no reason for the rage, which was even weirder. So it's just really... They're like, oh, what were you mad about? Why'd you, why'd you punch the wall? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got mad over nothing. <laughs> I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, I gotta go in. In five minutes. So. Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys. Hey guys, so I'm heading home. I went to my mom's. That went well. Love her. I told her, I go, Mom, I know you're busy. I go, but when you retire, can we spend more time together? And she just smiled with joy. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I think she knows I want to spend time with her. So, but anyways, I am heading home. I am going to be working on some more projects. Today is done. I am off for the rest of the day. So, I wanted to finish this video up for you guys. And call it a night. So, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. Oh, and... um. I have a video that I want to show you, okay? And I guess I'll put it after this video, this clip here. So I'm going to say this now, but I want you to see this part after, okay? And it's just going to show you what I was working on last night, okay? Because I have this clip, and I want to show it to you. So it's a clip of just what I did for the goodie bags for the bait, for the kids. So I wanted to show you what it is. So it's just 24 seconds long. It will be right after this. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys back then next time. You guys have a great day. See ya. Hey guys, really quickly, I wanted to show you what I ended up getting for the, for the kid basket. So I ended up getting these and these ones. And then I ended up doing this and this. So I wanted to show you guys that really quickly, and then that's just what the bags look like. Or they're gonna look like that. They have to be wrapped around, so. Just wanted to show you really quickly.